Hi, good morning. I've just had a ride from Amazon today, some heat shrink tubing. Now, there's nothing new about heat shrink tubing. Uh, I've been using it for decades. This from Amazon, though, is something I've never bought before. It's adhesive-lined heat shrink tubing. Basically, uh, the manufacturers, inside the tubing, they put a layer of glue. Now, that melts when you warm the heat shrink up and uh, uh, adheres to the cable so you do get a really good um, waterproof connection um, which we'll show you I'm just going to um, this is a standard heat shrink tube in let's just close those what we'll do we'll put a bit of heat shrink on both of these pieces of cable obviously they just butt ended there and um, see how effective the adhesive is compared to the standard heat shrink tubing. Now standard heat shrink tubing is very very good it insulates the joint which is the main uh, concern of mine uh, so it doesn't short out anywhere uh, that would spoil your day. Uh, let's just, just let that cool down a second I want to try to keep it straight if I can we'll put the adhesive lined cable on now, uh, tubing on now it's a little bit of a shorter loop, but that shouldn't make any difference. Uh, heat shrink time is about the same on these, I find. Uh, it, just looking at it, you wouldn't know a lot of difference apart from the fact you've got glue on one of the tubes compared to the other. You can see the glue wick out at the ends of the cable if you look carefully. You don't get an excessive amount, but then I, I wouldn't want that. You want just enough and hopefully the manufacturers have got it together and they know what they're doing so we'll just uh, warm that up let that cool down also we'll just give a pull on um, the non-adhesive and the adhesive line and see if the cables pop out all I wanted to do is show to you that uh, you got an additional strength with the adhesive line cable so this is the standard heat shrink tubing on the cable And it pops out very easily. Now this stuff is still a little bit warm. It does take a few seconds just to uh, fully set. I can just see. I'll do another demo in a minute, but I can I can just see the adhesive just on the ends where the heat shrink tube and finishes. I I'll do the same and I can't get that to move at all that really has adhered to the cable so I've got a, a waterproof electrical joint and a good mechanical bond to the cable so two things in one there with the older uh, uh, type of heat shrink yeah you got a, a protection to the joint you've made but you've got no real mechanical bond so that's where the adhesive does come in now let me just off shot there's a piece of white adhesive lined heat shrink tubing. Pop that on uh, my stand in cable, which is obviously a pencil. We just shrink this down. Will this make it a little bit easier, I think, for you to see the adhesive coming out of the ends of the tube? Uh, yeah, there you go. Let's see if we can get that on shot. You can just see it shining on the end there. So yeah, that's the adhesive just squidged out of the tube. Um, and whilst you don't get a very good electrical joint on a pencil, it will stick to this pencil. This <laughs> this tube is going to have to be cut off the pencil before I use it again. So you imagine that was a cable. Once more, I'll say it. You've got a waterproof joint and you've got an excellent mechanical bond to the cable with the heat shrink. So uh, yeah, it's a winner-winner. I, anyhow, I'm sure you've used heat shrink tubing before, maybe not the adhesive lined. Uh, I never used it up until just about now, but it's something I'm going to be using more and more of, I think, because you might as well have the uh, adhesive line compared to the standard tubing if you're doing any heat shrink in my book. So, yeah, I thought I'd just give you a two or three minute video to uh, certainly enlighten me when I bought it, and perhaps it may be of interest to you. If it is, thumbs up would be great. Thanks for watching.